hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about html form attributes so in this video we're going to talk about the different attributes for the html form element so first we have the action attribute so the action attribute defines the action to be performed when the form data is submitted usually the form data is sent to a file on the server like we can say action page.php so this is the file on the server and it will handle the form data and this file contains a server side script that handles the form data so now we're going to talk about the target attribute the target attribute specifies whether to display the response that is received after summarizing the form so the target can be blank means the response will be displayed in a new window or tab or the target can be parent so the response will be displayed in the parent frame or it can be self so the response will be displayed in the current window or it can be top so the response is going to be displayed in the full body of the window and next we have the method attribute so the method attribute specifies the http method to be used when submitting the form data it can be get or it can be post the default method is get so while using the get method it will append the form data to the url using the name value pair so we should never use the get method to send the sensitive data and also we can use the post method and the post method will append the form data inside the body of the http request so the form data will not be shown in the url so we should always use the post method if the form data contains sensitive or personal information and next we have the autocomplete attribute so the autocomplete attribute specifies whether a form should have autocomplete feature on or off so when the autocomplete feature is on then the browser automatically complete value based on values that the user has entered earlier and if we make the autocomplete as off then the browser will not autocomplete the value in the input field and next we have the no validate attribute so the no validate attribute specifies that the form data will not be validated when submitted so these are all the attributes of the form element where the action attribute specifies the action to be performed when the form is submitted. The target attribute specifies where to display the response that is received after submitting the form. The method attribute specifies the HTTP method to be used when submitting the form data. And the autocomplete attribute specifies whether a form should have autocomplete feature on or off and the no validate attribute specifies that the form data should not be validated so these are all the attributes of the form element hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you